The next part in the development of your characters is the Character Attributes Worksheet. With this worksheet, there are 106 questions for you to answer about your characters that you put down in the labeler. Each of these questions will help you develop and create dynamic characters that people can identify and connect with. We will be going over what you should work on for all of your characters. So for right now, what we are going to do is focus on your side characters. Most people aren't really going to care about the home life or mental attitude or life goals of the characters that play a minor role in your story. However, in order to make them more than just one-dimensional people, it would be helpful to you to at least fill out the first five sections of the worksheet. And that is what we are going to be doing right now. The first section is about their basic information, like their name, their gender, their age, their height, and their weight. I also included a space where you could add their birthday and their astrological sign. What can be done is that you could look up a person's astrological sign through their birthday and you can figure out what type of personality that person would have. The information that you find through their birthday can give you an idea of what type of personality you can give your character. And if you are looking for a website where you can look up information like that, I have included it in a link below the video. Next is their physical appearance. So what is your character's eye color, their hair color, their skin tone? Do they have any tattoos, physical disabilities, or any health conditions? After that is their grooming and clothing habits. So there are several questions on how a character grooms themselves. Like do they have any jewelry? Or what does your character typically wear? Is it something formal like a suit and tie? Or is it jeans and a t-shirt? Or maybe even pajamas? The next thing on the character attributes worksheet is the character's likes and dislikes. So what makes your character happy? Could they like something like mixed martial arts and possibly do they train at a facility during their time off in the story? Or maybe they like race car driving, or maybe they don't and think races and events like NASCAR are dangerous to the environment and they want to stop it. You don't have to be that in depth with it, but having a character have something to like or dislike or maybe a thing or two to like or dislike can give them purpose in your story and help you build a three-dimensional character. Next is your character's body language and speech language. And this is all about how your character communicates. So what are your character's mannerisms and what is their mood most of the time? What quirks do they have about them or things that they may do that others might find odd? Are they more passive or aggressive? Does your character keep eye contact when they are talking? What is their typical tone of voice and how rich is their vocabulary? And the last thing are your character's habits. Habits or something that someone does often is something that can also humanize a character and make them more three-dimensional. And I believe that it, it is important to give your character at least a habit or a special talent or a skill so that they aren't just like a cardboard cutout in the background. And that is it for the first five sections. And I believe that you should do this for all of your characters, but especially for your side characters. Because like I said earlier, most people are not going to care about your side characters' ambitions or their goals or their home life or anything else important like that. But in order to make them seem more human and to be more three-dimensional, it is important that you do these first five sections for your side characters.